my students coming to the next topic that is the gray box testing so in the previous videos i explained about the white box testing and the black box testing now let us see the gray box testing gray box testing is nothing but it is a combination of it is a combination of combination of white box white box testing and black box testing so gray box testing is just a combination of white box testing and black box testing so what is this means whether it is taking the advantages or the disadvantages in those testing so what combination advantage of white box testing or disadvantages of white box and black box testing now let us see the first thing you have to write that whenever they ask about what is a gray box testing it's just a combination of black white box testing and black box testing so it is a strategy for the software debugging in which testers has limited knowledge of internal details of program so they are having the only the limited knowledge the testers have who are going to test the gray box test by using gray box testing those testers has limited knowledge limited knowledge of internal details of a program internal details of program means the person who is using a tester is using uh, the gray box testing he is having the limited knowledge of internal details if he is having limited uh, only limited knowledge then he can go for the gray box so it's completely depends upon the tester who is going to test on the project so if it is having a limited knowledge then it is prefer gray box so means uh what is a black box testing there is no knowledge of internal coding okay and there is white box testing is completely depends upon internal structure internal details of a program so here i am saying the tester is having the limited knowledge so if it is if he is having the limited knowledge means okay it is a combination of white box testing so the first case will be so true the tester has limited knowledge of internal details of program if it is if he is having the uh, limited knowledge or complete knowledge then it is white box testing next the black box tester is let me write that the black box tester is unaware of internal structure and aware of internal structure of system and whereas white box testing white box tester is aware of aware of internal structure of system whereas gray box testing gray box tester is let me write that a gray box tester partially partially knows internal structure and here i am saying and so he is partially knows the internal structure that is the white white box testing and algorithms algorithms of defining test case defining test case that means it is the functionality of the uh, structure functionality of the system is also knowing so that means black box testing so it is satisfying both the condition it uh, that uh, gray box testing is having the limited knowledge of uh, internal details and it is having the uh, idea about the algorithms of definition of the all the test cases so that's why the gray box testing is a combination of both white box testing and black box testing now let us see the techniques of gray box test i hope you understand what exactly the black box white box and the gray box techniques first technique is matrix testing so here the matrix testing states the status of report of the project just it states the report of the project next is the regression testing 
regression testing here just rerunning of the test cases if any new changes are made just it is always rerunning the uh, pro, uh, test cases means if still any errors again it's checking again errors will come means it's just rerunning of the test cases third pattern testing so the pattern testing is also rerunning of test cases if any new changes are made fourth one is orthogonal array testing so what is this orthogonal array testing here this orthogonal array testing is used as a subset of all possible combination so these are all the techniques of gray box testing thank you